Hello everyone, my name is Adam and welcome back to the channel. This week I've printed an enclosure for a Raspberry Pi 3 official touch screen with some mounting points as well. So let's take a closer look. So what exactly have I printed here? Well, it's in five parts. You've got the gold legs, two parts. You've got the top, you've got the middle, and then you've got the bottom sort of. This is kind of the frame and also the back mount for the actual LCD panel slash touch screen. The main body of it just kind of holds the two together and kind of encloses the Raspberry Pi 3. And then the top panel just closes it all off so you can't, you know, like accidentally touch it with your fingers. And then you've got access on a couple of the sides to access the ports, power, USB, Ethernet, etc. that you might need. The model itself was inspired by another one I found very similar on Thingiverse but I thought that one wasn't quite what I wanted, so instead of making some modifications and sort of making a hash of it, I decided to just design the entire thing from scratch and make this one myself. I will link the original one that I got inspired from down in the description below. This works in a fairly simple way. Once you've assembled it, you simply bolt it up onto a panel. You can also, I mean, I've made the legs design, I mean, arm mounting arms, whatever you want to call them, kind of parametric. So this angle, you can change fairly freely. If you want to mount it at 90 degrees, you just change it to 90 degrees. If you want to mount them even further round, you can do that. If you want to mount it kind of on a wall, so you have it in portrait mode rather than landscape, you can do that. It's just kind of a very adaptable design to have a screen in a location where you can touch it. They do look quite flimsy, but in fact, they're not. Like when you load, I mean, if you're loading them this way, then yeah, they're quite flimsy, but you're not doing that. You're pressing down on the screen or pressing backwards on the screen. So they're really designed for having load in that one specific area. If you push them down like that, they really just don't move at all because this strut just holds the whole design together really rather well. So why did I print this? Well, obviously I have a touch screen and I have a Raspberry Pi 3. I use this as a touch screen interface for a couple of printers, well, I want to anyway. Uh, so I wanted an enclosure so I could mount it somewhere fairly tidy and I wouldn't have to kind of be handling a kind of naked Raspberry Pi or having, you know, just wires and sharp little bits of PCB all over the place. This is a nice enclosure that I can just bolt onto the underside of a desk or something like that. And that way I can access the interface really easily, access the printers or even over Wi-Fi and stuff like that. So it just gives like a lot of expandability and capability to a kind of small 3D printing farm, if you like. I'm not going too much into depth on that because I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in a separate video. And no, it doesn't run Octoprint. So how did I make it? Well, the materials. You've got gold, silver, and black. The gold parts are filamentous gold PLA. The gray is Prusa PM, so the old Prusa filament style before they had Prusa mint. That's the uh, silvery PLA rather than gray. It came with the printer. I've finished it now. And this black parts, all the, the, well, the two black parts are filamentums ASA, obviously in black. And there was no real reason for choosing ASA or PLA in any of these circumstances. PLA would be a really great material for this. There's no high temperatures or anything. So it's strong, biodegradable, and all that sort of nice stuff. So yeah, ASA was a bit overkill, but I was just printing with it, testing with it. So it was in the printer at the time. The printers I used to print this were the PLA was printed on the Creality Ender 3, which you can see behind me, and the black was printed on the Prusa i3 Mark III. I do use that printer an awful lot. So that's pretty much it for my kind of control panel interface, 3D printed model assembly sort of thing. You can find links to the materials, the printers, and the designs in the description below. And I think that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more from me, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram for more behind the scenes and stuff like that. And again, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>